Introduction In this part 2 video we sling back from Stellenbosch to Vonderboom and Springs with our flying friends Dion and Marie. On the route we land and sleep over at the Khoisan Karua Conservancy. We do reviews and provide some general aviation tidbits. Planning. The planning for this part of the journey was done as part of the whole trip, as discussed in the part 1 video. The routing out of Stellenbosch was quite interesting, with the surrounding mountains and before the time we had two fully planned alternatives between Dion and I. I only made my final decision the day before our departure on which route to follow, after I had physically seen the mountains and had an integrated view of the full weather situation. The weather forecast for each of the planned days indicated no significant weather throughout the preceding 10 day weather monitoring period. This was still due to high pressures. Being there. We had an enjoyable two day stay at the four star Crystal Beach Hotel in Gordons Bay and had some excellent meals in the on site restaurant. We also visited several interesting places in the surrounding areas. Hello ladies and gentlemen, with me are my driver Jimmy and our flag man Stain White Cultivars. So this is the type of water that you can We then stayed one night at the Salsa Lodge and had our dinner at the La Panetta Italian restaurant. Reviews Both accommodations have fully furnished, comfortable rooms, nice views and provided excellent service. We can strongly recommend stays at both of them. Getting back Early on the morning of our departure at Stellenbosch, there were a few low-level clouds to the north and some light mist next to the sea. I was quite confident of the thing's climb rate, and with the prevailing weather conditions, I opted to take the direct route and climb out over the mountains under the TMA. The suit only has one frequency change, which I missed in any case. Dion opted for the easier climb into the TMA and around Wellington Airfield. This route has a number of potential frequency changes and ceilings and will require a very steep climb to clear the most critical point. 
if you stay underneath the TMA. We easily cleared the mountain tops, but I would not recommend the direct route if you were not confident of at least a 500 feet per minute climb up to at least 8,500 feet. The views from above the mountains were spectacular. We had a very stable and enjoyable flight to the Karoo, remaining at flight level 095. This time Cape Town Central was not that accommodating with our 3 digit frequency non-compliance. We had to fly like weekend warriors in the lower level Cape Town Central airspace, while t on 124, decimal 8 as recommended. Satellite tracking again worked well for us, but again with some teething problems for Dion. The Piper arrived at New Home Airfield about half an hour ahead of the sling, and did a standard unmanned joining procedure with a runway inspection run, and then landed on runway 17. We did a standard unmanned joining procedure and landed on runway 35. Preview of the runway. The new home runway 17-35 is 1300 meter long by 30 meters wide with a smooth gravel surface with some grass at 4375 feet altitude. There is a parking area with a securing cable north of the 17 threshold. The windsock is on the eastern side of the parking area. A small runner pad is also available between the parking area and the runway. The airfield is very safe and we left both airplanes safely outside for our stay over. PC, the owner of the Koi San Karua Conservancy, came to fetch us at the airfield and drove us to our accommodation about 300 meters away. After settling into our rooms, we had some drinks in the garden. Later the afternoon, we went on the hippo drive to view the only hippo in the Karua. After a delicious three-course dinner, prepared by PC, his wife Mariska and their staff, went on a cold but interesting night game drive. After a good night's sleep and excellent beds and linen, we had a delicious buffet and plated breakfast. Dion and Marie decided to leave that day and after the breakfast we accompanied them to the airfield.
while still at the airfield another couple arrived from East London on their way to a Krabis. A helicopter fetched from Cape Town by an Syria based Marshall Eagle Aviation also landed later. The on satellite tracking worked successfully on this lake and we could follow them. We spent a leisurely day exploring the farm and refueling this thing with Mogas Mariska brought for us from Colesburg. Review of Khoisan Karoo Conservancy. They have five different accommodation options, but we stayed in a new home, Nature Lodge. It sleeps 27 guests in converted stable double rooms with well designed and sweet bathrooms with showers. The three course plated and buffet dinners and two course breakfasts were delicious. Light lunches are available on request. An honesty bar and wine cellar are available. All meals and drives are optional and well priced. Nothing is too much effort for the friendly and helpful hands on owners Pietje and Mariska. We can highly recommend to stay here. The next morning we were greeted again by a cloudless sky and after another delicious breakfast, PC took us back to the airfield. We took off and headed out low level on a slight detour to Gharib Dam. We would have landed there on our cancelled still by flying safari the previous December. We still enjoyed our stay there on our return driving trip in January and wanted to experience it from the air. After that we had a very stable flight at flight level 095, routing outside the Bloemfontein DMA over a very sparsely populated region of the Free State. Low clouds started forming beneath us. Close to Winburg, the cumulus rise made it impossible to judge whether we will be staying in the legal 3 octa South African BFR limit above the clouds and we rather descended underneath the clouds. To stay within a minimum VFR of 500 feet horizontal distance from the clouds, we had to request non-standard flight level 072 for the remainder of the flight up to the Johannesburg Special Rules South and East areas. Wonderboom was not too busy due to the weather and we were routed in from Mamalodi along the ridge for a non-standard right hand downwind for runway 1-1. Well, thank you Father God for a safe and enjoyable journey in excellent weather conditions as requested. And thank you also to Dion and Marie for an excellent idea and a very enjoyable trip together. <laughs>